Hello, scholars, and welcome to our second to last week of e-learning. For math, we're going to be talking about something that you've probably learned already before. Maybe you've heard it. Maybe you've seen it. It might even be new to you, but they are patterns. We see patterns everywhere. We can see them in the classroom. You can find them at home. You can find them in your room. You can find them on clothes. You can find them on shoes. Patterns are something you can find anywhere. So patterns. When we talk about patterns, we talk about colors, shapes, objects, numbers that are put into a certain order. So it's going to get pretty easy as I start talking about it, but let's just look at our first pattern. I used colors. You can see that our first pattern, ooh, there's Danny. <laughs> you can see that our first pattern, I used all circles, but I used different colors. So I said green, red green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, and I could go on and on and on. That is a pattern because I know that, well, green is first, red is second, and it's going to keep going on. Patterns don't change. So this pattern could keep going on as long as I want it to, but it's only going to be green and red circles. I'm not going to say, oh, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, blue. No, that's not our pattern. I follow my pattern by saying green, red, and I could even look at the end and say, okay, well, what comes after green? Red. So go there with colors. Now, underneath it, you see different shapes. I used a heart and a square, and I could do the same thing. Heart, square, heart, square, heart, square, heart, and we know that a square would come next. For that pattern is my shapes. And my shapes are different colors as well. They wouldn't have to be. I could have red hearts and red squares, but this is a blue heart, green square, blue heart, green square, and so on. So if I asked you at the end of this, scholars, what would come after that blue heart, we'd say a green square. Now, under here, these are kind of just pictures because I said we can do objects. They're just little pictures. They kind of have a star and a snowman. So star, snowman, star, snowman, star. And we know that snowman could come next. It doesn't have to be circles and colors. It doesn't have to be shapes. We could do objects. I could do a sun and a moon, a sun, moon, sun, moon. But here we know that if I go star, snowman, star, snowman, star, a snowman would come next. So scholars, when you look at our first three patterns, you notice that I'm only doing it with two different objects. I'm only doing it with two colors. I'm only doing it with two shapes and I'm only doing it with two objects. When we look down here, you could do it with three objects. As long as they stay in that same order, it's still going to be a pattern. So I could go triangle, star, check mark, triangle, star, check mark, triangle, star, check mark. Even though I have three different objects, that's still a pattern. I'm still in the same exact order. So if I wanted to know, if I wanted to keep my pattern going and draw something after that check mark, what would it be? It would be a triangle because I'm starting it over again. Now, I'll lift this up so we can see, but our patterns can even be numbers. I could go one, two, three, four. That's four numbers, that's four objects. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if I wanted to keep that pattern going, I would just write one, two, three, four right after it. Scholars, patterns are so easy to find everywhere. You can find patterns on shirts. If you have stripes or polka dots, you could find patterns maybe on your blanket, has different colors on it. But remember, when you look at patterns, they are always gonna stay in that same order. So at the end of my pattern right here, I'm not gonna have a blue ball. At the end of my pattern here, I'm not gonna have an orange smiley face. Your patterns have to stay in order. You're gonna be looking at pattern cipher homework. If you have any questions, let me know.